Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm an On One Photo Raw 2021. Having a, just a heck of a good time with this product. It's just so fun. There's so much power, so much control. I've got this photo here, which you can see, of the Sydney Harbor Bridge I took uh, when I went to Sydney a number of years ago. And um, I did start the photo like that. That's the base photo. I did some transform and that sort of thing. And then I also made a few adjustments here in tone and color to get it looking like that but I've got a lot I want to do. And as is often the case in On One, I'm using luminosity mask to really help me target specific areas. Like for example, I wanna do certain things to the sky that I don't wanna to do to the bridge and the walkway and all that. And that's where luminosity masks come in really handy. So let's get going. I'm gonna start in effects and I'm gonna to go to dynamic contrast. And I'm gonna take all three of these up. I'm gonna do about a 25 here on small. I'm gonna do like mid 30s on medium. And I'm gonna go a little higher on large as well. Now what I wanna do of course is create a luminosity mask, which is basically immediate and awesome. So that's been created. Now remember white reveals and black conceals. So if I show you the mask, you can see it's being applied where it's mostly white. So I want to invert that because this dynamic contrast, I want to go into the stuff that's now white, which would be the bridge and um, the walkway and things like that. However, I do want to adjust the levels. And so what I want to do is really kind of isolate the areas uh, as much as possible. So I'm doing something about like that. You can just see how much control you have. I mean, it's really just fantastic. I do recommend that you take your time kind of experimenting with levels, but it's super powerful. Basically allows you to refine the mask. And now as you can see, remember white reveals, black conceals. This sky is basically completely black and the bridge and the other stuff are very white. So that's exactly what I wanted to do. I'm just gonna click view so I can hide that. And now dynamic contrast has been applied exactly where I wanted it to be applied, which is in the uh, bridge, walkway, buildings, things like that. So if I turn that back on, hopefully you can see that. You're gonna see it better here in a minute. I am gonna copy that mask because once I've made that mask, I can just use it because again, I've separated and isolated the sky from basically the man-made structure in the photo. So that's the bridge, the walkway, all those kind of things. So now that they're separated, I can just reuse and invert that mask back and forth, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm now gonna go to Tone Enhancer. And what I wanna do here is just increase the exposure a little bit to about a 0.35. And you know, something about like that. And I'm gonna lift the shadows a little bit as well. And then I'm gonna come in and just paste my mask because what I wanted to do is brighten those uh, man-made areas. So there they are before, a little bit darker, and now after, a little bit brighter. I've still got that same mask copied, so I can just keep using it. I'm gonna go to Color Balance. And in this case, Highlights, I'm gonna say zero on the hue, but the amount is gonna be like a 25 or 26. And on Midtones, I'm gonna go to a hue of about, oops, about a 35, 36, something like that. And the amount is gonna be like a 21. Uh, yeah, 20, 21, something like that. And what I wanna do is paste this mask and then I wanna invert it because this one is going into the sky. I'm trying to create a little bit more color in the sky. So if I click on view, you can see basically, remember white reveals. So my uh, color adjustment here is being revealed in those areas that are white. So if I turn this off, you can see the sky has gone from more of a blue to a little bit more of that magenta kind of sunset look. It's just something I like to do. So I'm gonna click copy because it's the same mask. It just saves me a step. I can paste it now for more stuff in the sky and not have to invert it. But the mask was set initially down on dynamic contrast. And now it's just, you know, inverting and copying, pasting, things like that. So add filter, add color enhancer. And here I wanna get saturation and vibrance. I wanna pull both of them up a little bit because I do like my colors. So I'm gonna pull those up and then I'm just gonna go paste this mask. And what I'm not doing here is allowing the color adjustment to go into the man-made stuff. So once again, view, white reveals, black conceals. So basically color is not going into the bridge. Very little is going into the walkway and that sort of thing. Most of that is going into the sky which is exactly what I wanted because I'm trying to enhance this sunset. So there it is before and there it is after. Okay, now I'm gonna go get HDR look. And as you can imagine, this is not gonna go into anything except the bridge uh, area. So I'm gonna paste and I'm gonna go invert back so that that has gone into the areas that are white. Remember, I just had that same mask. I'm just flipping it back and forth 
build it once, use it forever kind of thing. So in this case, I inverted that mask and just have pasted it in. And so now because I inverted it, it's going into the white areas, the bridge and the walkway, which is where I want HDR look to go. I don't want crispy skies and that sort of thing, but I do want to bring up some of the detail in that bridge, especially if you look at it. Here it is before, a little bit darker, a little bit harder to see, and after, now it's got a little bit more punch, a little bit more visibility underneath. I think that's looking pretty sweet. And that is how I'm using luminosity mask. to just build it once, reuse it forever, like I said, and just bang, 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 add my different filters. And now what I wanna do, I'm gonna go get a local adjustment. And this one, I'm actually gonna apply globally. This is just a global contrast adjustment. So I'm just adding that uh, contrast of about 20, and that's going everywhere. Actually, I need to hit invert so that it actually shows, and I need to get the exposure reset. So there we go. I have just added a 20 to contrast. So if I turn this off, there it is before and there it is after. Just a global contrast adjustment. And then I've got one more move that's back here in effects and that is using the glow tool. I don't use this a lot, but it's a nice little tool. And I'm gonna go in here to more and I'm gonna get rich glow, which I really like, but it's way too heavy here. So I'm gonna pull the opacity down to about 65. And actually I think I'm gonna go a little bit lower. I think I'm gonna go about 55. And I'm basically just adding that rich glow across the entire photo, but reducing the opacity so it's not as intense. But there it is before the rich glow, and there it is after. That's basically a little bit like adding a uh, Orton effect, if you will. And by the way, I don't know if you noticed, but there are people up there that are climbing the bridge. That's pretty cool. I did not do that. Didn't have the time, but I have a friend that did and said it was amazing. Anyway, so here's rich glow one more time. There it is before and there it is after. Like I said, a little bit like an Orton effect where it just kind of softens it up a little bit. And I use that kind of effect on a lot of my sunsets and blue hour kind of cityscapes just to give it a softer kind of overall feel. But that's it, my friends. Luminosity mask, literally to the rescue. You can so quickly and easily isolate the sky from other things like man-made structures and then just you know lather, rinse, repeat in terms of uh, you know using them, copying and pasting and just flipping them if you need to. But that's my entire edit, and that is how luminosity masks have really helped me in this photo. I really like this result. There it is before, and there it is after. And if I do the sliding comparison view here, you can see that we've had a massive impact on the photo. The bridge is looking crisp. The walkway looks nice. I love the colors. I think the sky color just looks fantastic. And I was able to easily and quickly do this thanks to luminosity mask here in On One. Hope it helps, my friends. Hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching. I'll be back really soon with more videos. Have fun editing. I'll catch you later and adios.